Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A Level Maths. Here we're working on simplifying algebraic fractions from exercise 7a. So in chapter 7 we're going to look at dividing polynomials, but before we do that we're going to look at a recap of GCSE simplifying fractions um, with algebra involved as well. So um, in this uh, expression here, what we can do here is we can't just um, cancel out one of the x's from the top and the bottom. What we effectively have to do is cancel out a multiple um, of x from the top and the bottom. So what we have to do first is um, cancel out all the x's, or not all the x's, but an, an x in each of the terms um, to get this term here. Another way of thinking about it would be to say x bracket 7x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6 over x and factorize out the x and then you can cancel out. But as you've seen here you can cancel out one single x from each of the terms as long as there is an x in each of the terms. If there was say a plus 7 on the end here you couldn't simplify that because there was no x in this plus 7 term here. There wasn't a multiple of x in all the terms. Okay so you can also cancel out algebraic expressions um, with uh, in that were in brackets. So for this example here, a real simple example would be just cancelling out the 2x minus 1 on the top and bottom of the fraction. So you just get x plus 7 over 1, which is the same as x plus 7. Any fraction over 1 is just itself. Okay, so now we can move on to the slightly more difficult ones where we've got to do our own factorising to cancel out factors. So can uh, factorise the denominator here, and you see you've got an x plus 3 on the top and the bottom as a factor. Cancel out the x plus 3s as factors, so you've got 1 over x plus 4. Now you have to leave it like that, you can't simplify that any further. Okay, another question here, let's uh, factorise this and see if we can pull out any factors on the denominator as well. Great, we have an x plus 5 on the top and bottom, so we have to cancel those out. So it's now just x plus 1, x minus 2, and you wouldn't have to write your answer with brackets around them. And at this point here, you also can't cancel out the x's here and here, because remember it has to be a factor in all the terms across the fraction. Okay, a slightly more tricky one here with a 2x squared in here, so... Factorise it as you normally would, and you see you've got an x plus 4 in the top and the bottom here. So cancel out the x uh, plus 4s, and you get 2x plus 3 over x plus 3. And you can't cancel out anything here because although you can see an x plus 3 here, it's not a factor of the top. Okay, It's a different factor completely. If it was, for example, two brackets x plus 3 over x plus 3, then yes, you could cancel it out. But in this case here, it's just 2x plus 3, not 2x plus 6. Okay, your turn then. Pause the video and have a go at this question. Right, okay, well done for having a go at this question then. So for the first one here, we can just cancel out one of the powers on each of the x terms. If there's just one x term, you cancel it out fully. So you're going to get 4x cubed plus 5x minus 7 is your final answer for 1a. And for 2g, let's try and factorise it. I think we need a plus 5 minus 4 on the numerator. And we're going to need an x plus 5x minus 3. I'd be surprised if none of the terms from the top appeared on the bottom. So I'm glad that the x plus 5 has appeared on the top and bottom so that I can cancel it out and just leave me with x minus 4 over x minus 3. And you have to leave your final answer like that. No more simplification can happen from there. Right, so thanks very much for watching. If you need more practice at this, uh, have a go at exercise 7a on page 138. Thanks for watching.